Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo with another car tutorial video. Today we are working on a 2016 Toyota Corolla. We'll be replacing a O2 sensor for a check engine code of P013A. Turn your eyes to the diagram that popped on the screen right now. You'll see this will be the downstream O2 sensor replacement. This diagram is a little bit off for this car. The downstream O2 sensor is actually after the catalytic converter, not on it. This kind of shows it on it. And then you have your upstream O2 sensor, which is before the catalytic converter. So for this replacement, we're doing the downstream O2 sensor, which you will find after the catalytic converter. As always, I like to get busy quickly. Full tool list is displayed on the screen. Let me know if you have any questions down below and please like, share, comment if you feel that this video is for you. With the car raised and secured properly, you wanna go underneath your car and you can either access it from the driver's side or from the front side of the car. And you'll see on the exhaust pipe right after the catalytic converter, your O2 sensor and wires running down. The wire runs down and into the car underneath the driver's side. It's right underneath the feet of the driver when you're looking inside the car. I'll show you that later on in the video. But again, it's easiest to access this from the driver's side of the car underneath or also from the front of the car. There's also a grommet on the O2 sensor wire that runs into the car that's easily just pulled out and you'll be able to maneuver the wire more freely. Now I had my sister go up underneath the car and poke through that hole that you just saw me pull the grommet out of with a flathead screwdriver so you can see easily where the location of that wire is coming into the vehicle. As you see, it's right underneath the carpet on your driver's side. You'll need to pop the plastic trim panel from the center console. That'll give you more access to the carpet. And then just go ahead and just peel that carpet back. First, I'll go ahead and unloosen the foot carpet the little cleaning carpet pad. I'll take that off. You just twist those caps and that'll come right off. With the footrest carpet removed, the rest of it is just held on by Velcro that you can easily pull off. That's right behind the pedals. You just pull that back, keep yanking it. It's really easy to pull back. And now you have the full access of the O2 wire and the sensor location where you can unclip it from the vehicle's sensor and wire loom. For this plug, there's just a tab that you have to depress. You can either use your fingers or a flathead screwdriver and gently pry or press that tab in and you'll be able to remove the sensor. If you're using a flathead, just remember to be gentle so that you don't break the tab. Now this is my sister's car, so at this point I had her do the tough job of removing the actual O2 sensor from its mounting location. With it unplugged from the car, it can easily twist now with no restrictions. So now you want to go in with the special O2 removal wrench. As you see here in the video, it's it's different size wrench. I'll show you a little snippet video as well, what this looks like. O2 removal wrench, you want to use this or at least an O2 socket removal to make this easy on yourself. Use that to loosen the O2 sensor. The O2, the oxygen sensor, is located in a high heat area. So expect there to be a little resistance, a little tougher to get this off. But with a little strength or maybe using a little breaker bar, you can easily remove it from its mount location. On the O2 sensor, there was also a wire clip holder as well. I removed that that just pops right off of the top of the O2 sensor. I didn't get a good clip of how that popped off, but later in the video, I'll show you how that is actually put back onto the O2 sensor. But with that out the way, Lefty Lucy and this O2 sensor comes right off. Now it's time to install the new O2 oxygen sensor. It's the opposite of removal. I start from the install underneath the car. I route the wires through the hole, install the new grommet because your new O2 sensor usually will come with a new grommet. Put that in place. Next, after that, I go ahead and twist the new O2 sensor into its mount location and secure that with the O2 sensor socket. If anybody has some good information on the torque spec for this, please comment down below. I did some research. The only thing I could find was about 30 foot pounds for this, which is pretty snug, so it's not going to go anywhere. So 30 foot pounds is what I use to torque this back in place. You'll notice also that most likely your O2 sensor, you'll have a plastic cap. You want to take that off the threads. That's the thread protection. And it will also have some kind of anti-seize on the threads already from factory that will help remediate this sensor from seizing in this mount location in the future. You'll see the anti-seize is a little sparkly compound that's on the threads from factory already. 
With the O2 sensor secured underneath your car, you want to go back inside your car, locate the plug, and just secure that in place in its proper location right on the wire loom again. Just pop that in place, it'll clip right in. As promised, here's the metal clip that holds the O2 sensor wire in place so it's not accidentally hitting the hot exhaust as you're driving around. I'm showing you how that just pops right back onto the top of the O2 sensor and you can wrap the wire back in its place in the clip and it's secured. With that, this tutorial is done. I tried to wrap this up within about five minutes for you to keep it quick. Your P013A check engine light should go off with normal operation of the vehicle. If it does not, you can always disconnect your battery terminal and reset your ECU. That may work as well, but it should go off after a while. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Any tips to make this easier, please comment down below. I love that as well. I appreciate all the views, all the comments, all the love, all the tips. As always, I'll catch you on the next video. Mojo out.